Hey guys, it's your favorite neighborhood YouTuber, Ramblin' Ribby. Like always, back with another video. Oh man, so what do we got for you guys today? Um, so this will be a solo cup guide. We're going to do 10 autos, guys, in solo cups, right? Because you guys seen the results on the last one. They're pretty damn good. So why not? I have like a lot of seeds left, 30, 30 seeds or so. And um, I still got enough for a couple decent sized runs in the big tent if I want and this. So it's gonna work out nice. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your solo cups, guys. You're gonna put some holes in the bottom. Make sure there's some good drainage. Okay, step two, you're gonna get your soil, your medium. Now there's all kinds of different mediums you can use. There's HP Pro Mix, that's what I'm using. The Micro Rizea um, version, Cocoa Peat. 70 30 mix you can use pure cocoa the can of cocoa you can use guy greens living soil um happy frog um ocean forest uh, holland's basics oh, i see that on there and that looks really good too like, any of those guys you can use um that's just a few off the top of my head and um you're gonna get yourself some nutrients now if you want something very simple and you're a beginner and you're trying to do it very cost effective and cheap, I would recommend you get yourself um, Maxi Bloom. Get yourself General Hydroponics Maxi Bloom. Um, and you can use that all the way. Get the flowering one, the Maxi Bloom, not the veg. And um, you can use it all the way through, guys, from start to finish because it's enough nitrogen to carry you all the way through. It'll work great. Now, you can go for some more expensive, better nutrients if you want. I wouldn't say they're, they're better. So, um, you can use whatever nutrients you want. I wouldn't recommend trying to do it the organic way like I did. It doesn't work out the best. And we're trying to get some yield here this time. Now, this would be for like college people or people with a small, like say you got a college dorm and you wanted to just grow a little bit. You could do this in such a small space, guys. I've showed you and look what I just got off of two of them. 60 days just over 60 days from start to finish like it's worth it it's worth it and it's fun so why not right and um so i got my hp pro mix we're gonna fill up each one and you want to get oh let me show you guys here actually first things first guys shout out spider farmer they'll be posted directly below um go click on the link you can check their website out um my code is green mg all lowercase any money that we make from it will be given back to you guys in the form of a giveaway probably with some beans and the green soddy trim tray i'll throw that up comes with your scissors your pollen brush um the little the magnifying glass that nobody probably uses and the little um trichome press it's pollen press it's, it's trichomes it's not pollen but um if you grow you need a trim tray so everybody needs a trim tray that was my old trim tray one of them but um go check them out guys grab yourself one of them and um i will have a code soon for that but, uh, appreciate you guys and um let's get on with the rest of the video here
Alrighty. Ow. Oh, my finger, that hurts. Oh, I don't even know what that is. That's just a weird pain. Oh, that's, that's weird, man. That was weird. It hurts. Um, so now that you have all your soil, your medium, um, where it should be, I don't know how this guy's going to work, guys, you know, with, um, it took quite a bit of soil, so, um, if all goes well, it'll grow towards the light, it's a grow right out, um, I'm not sure how I'm going to get it to come out of this, I'm going to pack a little bit more in, so then it will, like, hopefully grow right out of there, I don't know, we'll see, I'll make it happen somehow, but that's going to be kind of funny, isn't it, um, so, we're going to get all the seeds in, guys. I do not germinate the paper towel method way. I think it is not needed. The best way is the heating pad, a dome like this. And you don't need the heating pad or the dome even. But if you use them both, I'm telling you, you're going to get maximum results. So you don't put the seeds down deep enough. They're going to grow up with the seed shell on them still. I will show you how to deal with that if that happens. So, you take your seed, put the pointy side down, guys. The pointy side down. Now, let me get this off of the tripod. I can show you guys. So, we'll do this one first. You pointy side down. All I do is just set it there. Cool. Cool. That's it. That's all, guys. And you do that for every single one. So, get back on the tripod. We'll do all. We'll do all those up. All right, we got them all planted. We got them all in there. You get your pH water, 5.8 to 6.2 if you're doing my regimen. Spray bottle, and we're gonna we're gonna miss them, guys. Give them their first bit of water until oh uh oh. Apparently, this bottle does not work. Um, one moment, please. Oh, and of course the thing's not long enough, guys. Give me one freaking second here. What a pain in the butt. Pain in the butt. Let's put some more water in. Alright, we're good to go. You don't gotta go crazy, guys. A shot glass one down in here. Now, two of the seeds, I, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to come up. They look pretty bad. But I planted them anyways because I'm not just going to count them out yet. So, got to give them a got to give them a try anyways. But I don't think two of them are going to. They just look like terrible seeds. Which is crazy. I bought a 50 pack and... Every single ethos pack of seeds I've bought is right on the count. You can't even throw in one or two extra for like duds. I don't, that, that I don't believe in. You should. If someone's buying a 50 pack, you should at least throw 52, 53 in there for ones that are, you know. You're going to get a dud or two. It's going to happen. No matter what. Out of 50, I can't see getting 50 out of 50. It, you could, but... So, we got these all watered up, right? Now, what I'm going to do when I finish this here, these are going to go under the SF2000. 
I'm only going to keep it on about, I don't know, 40%. We'll see, you know. And when these come up, I will uh, I will show you guys and we will continue on with the video. So that's it. We're going to put the dome on. And I'll probably put them on the heating pad and um, boom, guys. High humidity, high heat. Well, they're small. They love it. Not too high heat, but the humidity, they love it. That's been why my plants have been stunting off the start so much, I think, because the low, low humidity, they do not like it. But there you have it, guys. Um, I will be back the day they come up. So we'll see you then. Day three. We are at day three here, guys. I wanted to get them as soon as they popped up, but I uh, gapped out for a couple of days, apparently. But, um... We did these ones in the dome. We got 13 out of 13, guys. Look at this. Now that's neat. All of them look beautiful. Every single one came up. None of them had the seed shell stuck on them. They stuck onto the stalk, but I just had to pull it right off. Like they didn't, none were like really stuck on there. So it worked out beautifully, guys. Definitely the humidity dome has made a world of difference. Like they just came up so smoothly. Like this, this is going well. This is going well. I have the light at just under 40%. Beautiful grow, beautiful grow, day three. This is gonna work out nice, guys. And we got the shot glass grow back. Couldn't be happier with this. This is purple tie autos from Ethos. Let's get it, guys. We'll be back. We'll be back soon. Oh, hello, you fine people. I'm talking to you guys in the mirror. Yep, you're a weirdo, Ruby. <laughs> No, I'm just messing around. I'm going to start showing my ugly mug more, guys. I feel like a weirdo just, like, behind the camera all the time, like some creeper. All right, I have not seen in here today. Not seen in here today, guys. Woo, day seven, guys. Now... Does higher humidity make a difference? You're god darn right it does, my friends. You're god darn right it does. Um, because I would say that is on point for day seven. I would say every one of these is on point for day seven, guys. So a little recap, which you've already seen earlier in the video, but um, I don't know why I did ten. Because when they get too big, I'm going to have to take them out of that tray. But, you know what I was thinking, guys? You could do, because everyone's like, man, that must be a lot of work having to water them once, even sometimes even twice a day at, near the end. Um, you could create, like, a flood and drain table and just um, dump it right into the tray, let them soak it up from the bottom, and then you just come in once a day, boop, dump her all in, and it's uh, done. It's pretty simple. So, um... Yeah, but um, I did 10. I don't know why I did 10, because it's an uneven amount. I should have done 9, and then 10, 11, 12, right? Then we could have had, it would have been, it just would have made more sense, but perfect germination rate. I don't know why you guys are still doing the paper towel method. I really don't. I used to be the hugest advocate on that, like, have to do the paper towel method, have to do the paper towel method. I would always lose one. Sometimes it'd come out perfect, but I'd usually lose one or two wouldn't germinate properly well ever since i've been doing it this way guys and i didn't even put the heating pad under it totally even forgot about that just threw them in the dome and every single one guys 13 out of 13 and you guys seen at the start there two of them looked bunk i was like there's no way two of these are coming up there's no way and bang 
they all came up guys like, I couldn't uh, couldn't ask for better results so we got the uh, poo head emoji we got our shot glass I was gonna give the shot glass a feeding today none have been fed they're just in HP Pro Mix just straight water nothing else guys bubbled water pH to 6 I like to pH it from uh, 5.8 to 6.2 I try to not I try to be closer to the 6 range guys this is, is considered hydroponically grown so there it is um, if you guys want what I will do is every day I come in to check on the plants to do the work I will get a 30 second to 1 minute clip showing you guys what I do every day and then that will be like what 7 8 minute clip plus you know a little bit of other stuff 10 minute video once a week every friday tomorrow will be the update on the 16 auto flowers there's only 16 now because i put two outside that weren't doing good and they just didn't look great so and instead of just tossing them out i uh just put them outside but you guys will see when the time comes i think this one's going to be so cool the poo emoji not expecting much of a yield like the shot glass they're just for looks and for fun i'm gonna time lapse them all like i usually do for you guys it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty freaking cool man i've had so so many requests to do the uh, whole tent of auto flowers and this is definitely gonna fill this entire tent when they get big guys so um am i forgetting anything else let me think but yeah, so we'll do the, every day I come in, I'll um, show you guys what, what I've done for the day, and then we'll close the tent up, and then it'll be the next day. Because people still ask me questions and questions and questions, which I love, but questions that, like, if you watched the videos, and you wouldn't even have to ask these questions, right? But, um, but shout out to everybody. I love you guys, man. Keep hitting the like button, guys, please. It really helps. And keep leaving comments like you guys are doing. Like, I'm not like these other guys. I respond. I will reply back to every single comment until it is physically impossible. So keep dropping comments. You know, just say hey, even. If you don't got anything to say, just say hey. If you got nothing to say, then just say hey. That's a, that's a good motto, right? But let's give these girls some water. I'm going to show you. That one doesn't need any. That one doesn't need any. That don't need any. It looks like one of them is not dried up that much. They just came out of the dome. They've been in the dome for like seven days. I'm going to leave them out now. Humidity is up around 60%. They're loving it. So I'm expecting some pretty good results from this, guys. So I'm going to grab some water. We're going to water them. And uh, this is a long video. So I apologize. And we'll get on with it. So I'm back with the water. Water. Now that one does not need any. Whoops, I'm trying to do this through the camera. I'm looking through the camera as I'm doing this so I get the shot right. Now, that's what I did last time, guys. I did a 500 milliliter bottle and I split it between 10 cups. All right, now if you stick with that, it should be pretty good. So, but there it is, guys. We are at, that's where I got the light at. Because people ask me constantly, just under 40%. Uh, show you how high it is. Not a big fan of Mars Hydro myself. They actually lied to me when I first started out. Told me I need a thousand subscribers for them to even consider sponsoring me. Yeah, okay. And then I start seeing all these people with 200 and whatever. They said 1,000 subs on YouTube and 2,000 followers on Instagram. And we will start you off with a piece of crap little light. But no, Mars Hydro has good lights. I can't sit there and deny they don't because they do. All the companies do, guys. Every company out there makes good lights. 
you know, prices vary, but I like spider firmer. Always have, always will. So, but there you guys have it. I got my little fan going there. It's an air plate I made myself out of um, the packaging. You know, it seals up with the foam. Oh man, that little thing's amazing, guys. So, there it is. Solo Cup Sea of Green. Um, Solo Cup Autoflower Sea of Green, guys. You wanted it? Boom, I'm doing it. Hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications. You have to do that or there's not even any point to subscribing. And please, hit the like, guys. It's free. And my email will be below. Um, for any advice at all, any need help setting up your choosing equipment, anything, guys, anything at all. You just want to talk, you're having a bad day, hit me up. You know, it's free to do so. I, I will help guide you through your entire grow if you would, if you want me to. I've done it with a few people. So when I don't charge a cent, guys, all I ask is that you guys just keep supporting the channel. That's it. And I will always continue to help you guys for free. Love y'all. Your boy, Ribby, signing off.